Praise the Lord dear brothers and sisters how are you all I pray and hope that you are flourishing in God's grace Today I wanted to start off by telling you a small story There was once a beautiful flower who basked all of God's goodness the rain that he sends the sunlight that he gives the breeze that touches it it was enjoying in God's presence However it was winter in that country the sun started to fade away and the snow started to set in it was snowing on the flower's petals The flower started crying out to God. God, I'm feeling cold. I'm going to die. I'm suffering. Don't you care that I'm feeling cold? Don't you care that I'm going to die? Don't you care that I'm suffering? Every day the flower started to complain against God, but God remained silent. No matter how much the flower complained, God remained silent. No matter how much it cried out, God didn't utter a word. But one day the sun started to shine again. The snow started to melt away. The glorious light of the sun was shining upon the flower and the flower was joyous rejoicing and praising God for his goodness. Here I want you to notice that the winter is just a season. The flower was just in a season. Here I want you to notice that the winter is just a season. We too like the flower must just be in a season. Season of pain, season of hurt, season of ill health, season of disease, season of joblessness, season of waiting for the marriage, season of waiting for a child. Whatever season you might be in, it could just be temporary. But just because you're in a season doesn't mean that God has forgotten about you. You must be praying, you must be crying out loudly in God's presence. But it seems like God is going farther away from you. That he doesn't listen to you anymore, that he doesn't love you anymore, or that he doesn't care about you anymore, or maybe that he's forgotten about you. A God who doesn't even for a moment forget to transition the seasons of the world. Do you think you who are made in his image that he would forget the season you're in? but God knows what he's bringing in the next season we see in the bible many of the heroes of faith have experienced god being silent in the times of trouble that's what we see in psalm 44 where the kora family complains to the lord why are you hiding your face from us have you forgotten the pain and troubles that we are in we see how god was silent in joseph's desperate time of trouble in jacob's life in daniel's life in job's life in david's life and so on god must have seemed silent in all their lives but do you know that he was working under cover he knows exactly what he's doing it's easy to be angry with god and give up just because he doesn't respond to you the way you want him to respond doesn't mean that he's not working he is the synonym of wisdom he will come through at the exact and perfect time you too like zion in isaiah 49 must be complaining god has left me god has forgotten me but do you know what god responds can a woman forget her baby can she forget the child that comes from her body but even if she does forget i will never forget you i will never leave you nor forsake you i have carved you on the palms of my hand Today I want to remind you God may be silent but just because he's silent doesn't mean he's not working everything doesn't seem to change everything looks stagnant but remember God is working this is just a temporary season everything might seem to be going upside down but it's not the end you know what it could probably be the start of a great season that God is going to do in your life or it could be a season of being buried in the ground just like a seed but the seed brings a great harvest yes it takes time but just because it takes time doesn't mean that you must give up the latter is going to be greater than the former if you give up you might lose the harvest keep looking upon the lord and his promises for he promised in romans 10:11 anyone who trusts in me will never be disappointed trust me if you trust him you will never be disappointed god bless you